why index or etf may be suitable for you and what is the difference between the two so this is what you are going to see today and thanks raj for asking this question and i'm just answering this question just because he had asked and this is the second day of the 2021 wishing you a happy new year once again hi hello this is ganesh and your melina coach and author of the book money leaks and upcoming author of the book one page stock market plan please click the subscriber button i will let you know when i am going to share in this month i am going to launch this book okay thank you so much for being a regular watcher of this video, my videos okay so uh, wh- what is index and uh, etf both are passive income strategy and uh, in mutual fund there are two strategies one is passive and one is active so in active case it is almost like uh, we have been i have been i shared about couple of funds like hdfc balance advantage mere assert investco india contra all these are i shared about uh, active mutual fund strategy and another one is passive income strategy in this passive income strategies again we have two options one is exchange traded fund another one is index fund so let, let uh, both are almost passive strategy but what is the difference between the two this is what you need to understand index funds means uh, they will be tracking sn uh, sensex 30 stocks so all the sensex 30 stocks will be available in this index fund and uh, though it is passive whenever the sensex is changing the portfolio so out of 30 companies couple of companies may be going out coming in so they will be mimicking the exact performance so this is index fund and uh, when it comes to and it, it works as per the normal mutual fund strategy when it comes to exchange exchange traded fund it almost mimics the same thing but the co- constituents can be say different and uh, the entire uh, portfolio the 30 stocks will be put up in uh, stock in put up in stock market so almost it can be bought and sold like stock market uh, stocks actual stocks as usual in the uh, exchange so it's like throughout the day you can buy and sell the exchange traded fund similar as similar as stocks but in the case of index fund you can't do that because they will take at the end of the day strategy so let's not go deep which is not much needed okay so this is a major difference and one major difference because once you are going to passive income strategy you should understand that uh, you are not going to check you are not going to track anything uh, the fund manager is not going to do which means that you are clear you want to go for passive income strategy which can be around 15 to 20 percent out of your total portfolio so in that case go for etf exchange traded fund because the expense ratio of etf is around 0.1 or not max 0.15 but in the case of uh, index fund it can be a minimum uh, 0.8 to 1% which almost equals to direct equity direct uh, active managed fund right so in case of instead of taking a index fund you can directly go and take a better managed uh, actively uh, active mutual funds uh, mutual funds that will be a better choice so uh, if you go for passive income strategy go for etf and if you go for etf uh, only few options are there it can be mimicking sensex 30 or nifty 50 go for anything and go for top companies like icici or hdfc whom they are already having sbi is having a huge uh, asset under management right now many people had gone for it and even gold is uh, having a exchange traded fund they will be mimicking the, they are buying and selling the gold so it's very simple uh, if you want to go for passive just go for uh, etf exchange traded fund instead of index funds as expense ratio is much lesser in uh, this etf thank you so much for asking raj i hope i clarified your doubts and you can plan your investment strategy thank you so much for watching please share this video with your friends and please don't forget to click the subscriber button right thank you so much